Sue, a $17 billion deal in the cable industry, cable vision being bought by the European communications company Altice, creating the fourth largest U.S. cable operator. That sent shares of cable vision up more than 13% to multi-year highs. The acquisition is part of a long string of takeovers in the industry, underscoring the massive changes that are taking place. Julia Borston has more on the reasons behind the deal and what may happen next. Altice is pushing into the U.S. cable market, which is in the midst of major consolidation. Altice looking for greater exposure to the New York tri-state area, where Altice says customers are willing to pay for premium services. This after making its first move into the U.S. market with a $9 billion deal to acquire St. Louis-based Suddenlink Communications. And Cablevision, facing growing competition, was looking for an exit. They're the only cable operator in the United States that really has a head-to-head a -head fiber competitor in most of its footprint with Verizon Fios. That just makes it much, much tougher. And they know the business better than anybody, and they're sellers. This deal, which makes Altice the fourth largest cable operator in the U.S., is just the latest in a string of deals. Charter agreeing to buy Time Warner Cable after Comcast's proposed acquisition of TWC fell through, and AT&T recently completed its takeover of DirecTV. The industry is consolidating as cord cutting becomes a real threat. Declining pay TV numbers are pushing cable giants to focus more on offering high-speed broadband to lure customers with bundles of services, including broadband, TV, and phone. Now the question is what deals could be done next if Comcast is looking to do another deal or if companies with international exposure such as Liberty Global or Discovery Communications come into play. But analyst Craig Moffat points out with so much consolidation already, there aren't that many targets left. I don't think Cox is for sale. And after that, you're talking about small companies, Mediacom, and then it gets smaller and smaller. Cable One, they're half a million subscribers. So if you want to get big, it's going to be a lot of small acquisition. Altice's acquisition of Cablevision is sure to draw regulator scrutiny, but if regulators do sign off, the deal is expected to close in the first half of next year. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.